Welcome to another tutorial by photoshopeducation.blogspot.com. Today we're going to talk about grids and guides and rulers and a few features in between on how to use a snap to and locking your guidelines and that. So if you haven't already, uh, if you've used the tutorial here on photoshopeducation.blogspot.com, you should have already have this picture uh, the sky which is DSC 03562. If you don't have it, no big deal. Scroll on to the bottom of the blog, left click on download supporting files, go ahead and open this up in Photoshop and let's get going. So grids and guidelines and rulers they all allow you to um, uh, precisely either cut or make a selection at a certain area or allows you to paste in a certain area so you keep a nice clean look to the image. Now for grids, let's go ahead and left click on view and you'll come down here and see show. I'm not left clicking anything here. It's just a fly, a little sub menu and left click on grid. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and you'll notice some of these it looks like that there's bigger grids. Well, that's really not the case. If you look in here, you'll actually notice they are still the small grids, just like over here. So that's that's really the grid. There's not much to it. But if you wanted to edit it, you really would like to zoom in. And let's say I wanted to cut a certain area out and I wanted to be specific. I could left click in here and then drag it. And voila it's you'll notice that it kind of snapped to the grid and we'll show you that right now how that's set up and if you go into view again and you come down to snap to you'll notice guides grids layers document bounds are all set basically a snap to is saying if you're moving or you're selecting you want to try to snap to the lo the closest um, uh, closest uh, grid uh, so it's forcing me to either pick this or that for this example let's go ahead and turn off to turn it off and just click on left click on none now I want to show you I'll zoom in a little bit further even and now if I do this you'll notice that it's not forcing me to stay on these snap to the actual grid it's up to you on how you want to do it. I like keeping it on. I, I'll, I will actually turn it on from the start. That way I can keep everything very organized. And once again, view and snap to, and you can do all, and that would turn it back on. So if I left click, now you'll see that it's actually trying to stay within that grid. So that is grids and snap to. The next area you want to talk about is the ruler. Now if you come into view and you go rulers or it's control R which is probably the easier way to do it. Do a control R and you'll see a ruler up on the top and a ruler on the bottom here. Now just want to point this out that currently this is in inches. Now, how do you know that? Uh, by default, Photoshop will actually put it in inches, but if you wanted to change it quickly, just right click on the ruler and you'll notice this checkbox that says inches. You can change it to pixels or points or even uh, uh, millimeters. It's up to you. For now, let's leave it as, as uh, the inches and you'll see as you move over here, you'll see that it is actually showing you on the ruler where you're at. So if you needed to line something perfectly, this is the easiest way to actually align it. Uh, instead of doing it by eye, you could actually say, hey, I want it from 13 and a half to 15 and a half, and that's what you're going to pick. Uh, then you would be picking two inches. Now that's how you, that's a ruler. <laughs> Once again, control R turns it off, control R turns it back on. The other area we want to show you is is lock guides and before you can do a lock a guide 
actually have to make a guide. Now, what is a guide? A guide is, we'll say it's a customized uh, grid. It's specific to what you're looking for. Maybe this is not perfect right here, this grid or this grid line, and you want it to make it right down the middle. Well, how you do that is if you come over to the actual ruler, now it's a little bit confusing, is the left ruler actually controls left to right, I mean to top to bottom instead of left to right. So let's say I wanted a grid right in between there. It's nice because it creates a nice blue line and that's your grid. Just so you're aware, any of these grids, any of these guides, or any of the rulers are non-printable. So you won't actually, you might be seeing these grids on display, but when you go print it, you're never gonna see it. So that's how you can do one up and down. How do you do the other? really simple come up to the top left click come down and voila we just made a grid now that one I actually put on the grid line so maybe I want to change that how do you change it if you come over to this move tool which we discussed before you will notice when I hover over this it changes the pointer that means it basically you're going to be able to move it and adjust it. So if I hold down the left mouse and come down just a little bit and I release the left mouse you'll now see a new grid is put right there. Once again I could change this if I wanted to. Now how do you remove guide, guides? Well if you hold the left mouse button on it and you drag it back to the ruler and release it, it's now gone. But if you get heavy into guides and you just want to start from scratch well you can do that you can do view and come down to clear guides that removes removes all the guides last function I want to show you is I need to put a one back here and there's a guide let's say uh, as you're aware if I accidentally come over here and, and I'm editing the photo not really paying attention I could move that guide Maybe I want to lock that down so you can't accidentally do it. Well, it's really easy to do it. Just come up to view and this lock guides. If you left click on that, now if you try to move that, it pops up saying could not complete your request because that layer, the layer is locked. The only way you can get that back is, is if you go to view and left click on lock layers which you see as checkbox that's going to unlock the layers now i should be able to move this which i can voila i've just unlocked the layers so that's everything you really want to know about grids guidelines and even rulers and you should get a good feeling of uh what does this snap to feature do and how you can lock uh guides uh it, the if you're doing an advertisement it's almost impossible not to get away of using uh, grids or even rulers but most of the people actually f turn it on turn it off now we didn't show you the, the, the shortcut for guides um, we don't want to overload you we'll say with tons of shortcuts but one as I explained was rulers control R that turns off the rulers we still see the guides if you wanted to actually turn off guides remember you come down here and click show and then guides so and you can see the shortcut key but once again we don't want you to overload you right now as uh, as beginning to learn how to use grids left click that you'll see this guide here and i can even come up and do a view and then clear guides and i'm back to square one that's the the three basic tools to align whatever you're looking for, either when you're copying and pasting or which we showed you that selection, which is actually important to lock it down. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, tutorial and have a wonderful day.